Welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. Well, I'm at Laguna Niguel Regional Park today with two. We originally planned to fish Dana Point today because we've been hearing reports that they're now catching tuna just a few miles outside of the harbor. So, we checked the surf and weather conditions and they were horrible today. High winds, high surf. So we decided, you know what? Let's just fish fresh water. So here we are at Laguna Niguel Lake. Target species today are catfish and largemouth bass. I'll show you my rig, my setup. We catch catfish out here differently compared to the East Coast. So I'll share that with you. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a great day for fishing. Not that many people out. Wow, first fish of the morning. On a mini jig, a baby largemouth bass. <laughs> this has got to be the smallest one ever. So one thing to always remember when catfishing is to bring two rods. So I've already cast out one rig with the hot dog as bait, but while I'm waiting, I spend my time just using the BFS combo here for largemouth bass. So here I'm casting out a mini jig and I land probably the smallest fish in this lake, a largemouth baby bass. Hey, first decent largemouth bass out of this lake. First ever. <laughs> On the hookup. I can't get him. He's swimming out. Wait, oh, I can't. There's his buddy following him. You see his buddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's even bigger. That's his wife. Here, let's release him to his girl. Yeah, that's his lady right there. See his lady following him? That's first ever. All right. There we go. Back to your mama. Nice fish, dude. She was just waiting for him. You saw that? Yeah. It's crazy, dude. It's bigger than him. Yeah, always the girl, dude. That's the girls crazy. are bigger, yeah. They tend to be. Now, take a look at the water here, right by the dock. Uh, there are a couple of really good sized largemouth bass here. Unfortunately, my GoPro doesn't have polarized lenses, but the uh, shades I'm wearing, they do. And I'm able to see all the, the fish that are under this dock and two largemouth bass are going just back and forth underneath the dock and back out into the open and two has been casting everything you could think of at these fish they just will not bite the problem with the bass here at Laguna Niguel is that they're just so well fed there's so much bait in the water shad and such that they never take artificials whenever you throw yeah whatever you throw at them they just won't eat it but it can get frustrating seeing them there and not being able to catch them. Here's a setup that we're using for catfish. So we're fishing with hot dogs and I put it on a Carolina rig. Yeah, about a what, quarter ounce split, no, not split shot, quarter ounce sliding egg sinker right on top of this barrel swivel and about, about a foot long leader to this circle hook. Throw a piece of hot dog on there, cast it out, and just wait. That's how you catch them out here at Laguna Niguel Lake. Oh, that looks a nice one. It's a really finesse combo. Look at that. Oh, my on? Thanks, man. The guy you hear yelling in the background was a bass fisherman who was standing right next to my rod and reel that I had cast out by the docks for catfish. So here I'm running to get my, to make my way back over there. When it comes to bait and weight fishing, and in this case, it's casting out a hot dog uh, while waiting for the catfish to bite, always set your drag super loose. That way, if a fish takes it, it will not yank your rod and reel into the lake. And that's what I had done here. I There was never any real danger of me losing my rod and reel if, if a fish took it because the drag was set super loose. Here I'm tightening it up again as I'm reeling it in. But if you're ever going to leave your rod and reel leaning against a rail like this or in your rod holder, be sure to loosen up that drag or you will run the risk of losing your fishing gear into the lake, especially if a large fish like this takes off with it and 
in this case, it was big enough to just yank everything into the lake. But I was really never at risk of losing my gear because the drag was set super loose. It's pulling drag. Oh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it could be. Oh, it's a nice cat. <laughs> oh, boy, you don't have a net, do you? <laughs> Let me try to drag him over to the... Yeah, I'll just go around. I've done that before. Oh, shoot. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. He might get tangled up in the weeds. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, that's a good sized cat. I should weigh him. Yeah. It's definitely over, over five. Yeah, definitely over five. Hot dogs. Yeah, they're liking hot dogs. There you go. Yeah. Good time. Yeah. That's fatty, dude. What? I think I'm gonna release them. Yeah, release them, dog. Yeah, let's release them. All right, buddy. It's your lucky day. All right, wrapping things up. It's noon. Time for lunch. And it's starting to warm up, so I'm gonna gather up my gear and we're gonna grab some pizza. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again.